Shut up and sit down. Fancy seeing you here. Hello, I'm Esme. Um, someone let me know if my audio is fine, because, you know, I've fiddled with Ecamm, so I have no idea whether it's still all right or not. Um, <clears throat> good to see some usuals in the chat. Why is this not working? Good Lord, blimey. It's, it's just, you know, we know it's going to be a train wreck. It's one of my streams. So, hey. I'm Esme, you might know me as the Notion Goss, or you might not. Hey Torin, and hey Homesick, usual suspects saying nothing. No judgment here. We know I'm going to derail. Um, you have no sound. That could be your Mac, darling. Does anyone else, do we have sound? Can someone, fine audio, darling, it's you. But you can't hear me say that. <laughs> anyway, so... We are going to, today, have a wander through my notion. I really should create a hashtag for that. Ooh. Um, so, just to let you know, um, oh, whoops. Okay, you might want to turn it down when the music starts. There is music, there is a lot of music. So, mm, we might need to have a fiddle around with that. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, there is a 20 second delay on YouTube so what I say and what you hear there's a 20 to 30 second delay so what um, if you're gonna ask questions or I'm all about the questions absolutely all about the questions um, but if you're gonna ask questions try and make it specific to the bit that I was talking about because you all know by the time I read the question um, I'm gonna have like gone off 20,000 feet in the other direction so if you're gonna ask a question be specific about your question in the comments because otherwise I, I'm not gonna know what you're talking about because it's gonna be like 20 seconds ago and then a lot can happen in 20 seconds in my notion space so as usual oh why is that not working why why is my button not working there's my button working so hey Lizzie um, so as usual if you've got any questions about anything that i've talked about today because there's gonna be a lot um feel free reach out on twitter not a problem at all likewise if you've got a um like a request for me to do a video anything like that reach out at the notion goth and use hashtag tng video don't at mention tng video because that's someone else's profile um so yes that would work as well Torin. thank you ever so much i'll have to remember that one um yeah let me let me let me do that one and i want to do that 
Does that going to work? Yes, it is. Let me move it around a bit. There we go. Yep, as Torrin says, use the question mark to denote a question because, you know, this is all really new to me. You know, I'm, I'm not used to this at all and it shows. And you know what? That's fine because we're not here for me. Well, we are here for me, but we're not here for me. We're here for my notion. So if you want me to go over anything, if anything's not clear after the stream, you want to see something specific, go and grab me on Twitter. Um, and then I will add um, everything to goth.work slash requests, which at the moment is like completely empty apart from one thing that I really want to talk about. Um, but it's not about me. It's about everybody else. So um, if I'm bereft of ideas, then I'm just going to natter about what I want to talk about. But if somebody has something specific they want to see, um, then by all means, just let me know. Oh, there's a fly. And then by all means, let me know and I'll make a video on it. Cool. Cool. Right. So is this one going to work? Is this, is it going to work? Yes. Wonderful. We are cooking with gas. So today we're going to go through my YouTube setup. Now, yesterday I created an itty bitty tweet, just a little one, right? That seems to have struck a chord with, with some people. Um, and it went a little, something like this so this is the tweet that i released yesterday um yeah absolutely squirrel gone gone totally um so this is the tweet that i um i released yesterday and it's a bit of a monster it's a tweet thread of 16 16 tweets and when I added it up, it was 4,000 characters. And I'm like, yeah, 280 characters. What's a girl supposed to do with 280 characters? It's just not going to happen. So this was the what I went through yesterday, which is the sister uh, template to the one that I'm going to go through today. So yesterday, I went through um, my the one for my live streams. So I've got to have a process because I have... Um, yeah, thanks, darling. Yeah, love you too. Yeah, from Luke. Yeah, expect a few of those, Torin. Cheers. I don't have squirrel moments. Thank you very much. They're too small. I, I have large moments, like heifer lumps. We'll go with heifer lump moments. So anyway, back to the plot. We have a plot today. Um, so this is, this is the version that I released yesterday that I went through in my 16 million tweets. Um was going through my live stream template and that seemed to strike a chord with a lot of people um i wasn't sure like how much of it to share um and i was talking to somebody about it a uh, hat tip to john i was talking to john about it and he said you know you need to tweet this this is like this is this is just pouring and i'm like okay fair enough um so I literally went through section by section and that seemed to strike a chord with a few people and I'm like, oh, wonderful. Aha, yay. Um, so then it, it is an ooh shiny moment. It's definitely an ooh shiny moment. Um, I am in love with this, uh, with this template in my projects database. Absolutely in love with it. And it seemed to resonate with quite a few people as well. Because we have like 15 likes, three quote retweets and two retweets, which I'm quite chuffed with, if I'm completely honest. So in this one, I also have my Twitter thread, um, which, again, seemed to hit um, a nerve with a few people um, because that got 53 likes. And I'm like, woohoo, I win at Twitter. You know, forget these people who are like 3,000 million likes per tweet. I'm happy with 53. Absolutely. So what we're going to do today is go through my um, not live stream one because it's a bit of a train wreck. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we're going to work on it, so it'll be fine. Um, so this is the one that I released yesterday. And as you can see, I'm editing a template in projects. Um, will you be making the template available? Ah, well, now you see the problem. I mean, I can. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can make the template available. 
The problem that I have with making either this one or the pre-recorded one is that is my embedded stuff. So I guess I could put like bookmarks in there and say, you know, if you wanted to use it like this, um, then you can. However, it is super simple. Um, so you could probably do it quicker if that makes sense. I don't know. You might not be able to. I don't know. I would think you could probably do it quicker. Um, but I don't know. I probably, I, I, I can do. Absolutely, I can do. Um, I've never been asked for that, so I'm a little bit thrown. Um, sorry, oh, a little bit thrown by that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is the one that I went through yesterday in my 16 million Twitter thread. Um, so as you can see, there is a list of things to do every day. Um, obviously, the issue with this is that they're not in my content calendar anywhere. So for those of you who want to be more um, granular, you will need to have an embed of your content calendar and then drag and drop and make sure everything's on the right day. Um, that can be done super easy if you put an embed of your content calendar in there filtered for um, for this project and have a calendar view because then you can just drag everything from Monday onto the Monday, everything from Tuesday onto the Tuesday. And I think I went through that last week um, on this because this has changed completely in a week. Um, so, yeah. That, so this is everything that I want to do um, Monday to Sunday. I announce my live stream on a Monday, usually. Um, and then like everything like goes through from there. So apologies if you can embark in. The girlies are awake. So, right, can we see that fine on the screen? Yes, we can. Okie dokie. So then we come down to the next section, which is obviously the purpose, what I need to cover, what do I want to what do I want to say in this video? And then we come down to my Twitter threads um, and then we have my script. Now, I will say that my script is not a script because we all know that it don't work. Right. I can't have a script. It don't work. Um, and then my YouTube thumbnail and my content offers. Um, yes, the dogs are barking. Um, so just to give you a bit of an example. So next week. I want to do something really exciting and next week I want to in my hashtag wander through my notion go through my A&E database because my big picture database was such a nightmare right and it didn't work but I want to show that you can have a super huge database and it can work so we're going to go through my A&E database so this is everything that I'm going to start doing on Monday. But because I had the idea yesterday, I've already started bits of it. Um, so and what I've done to get around the fact that this isn't all in my content calendar, I have done an apt mention and put it to next Monday and put a reminder on it. So what I will do when I've done everything that I've got to do on the Monday, um, I will go into this one and click on it. And I will then change it to the Tuesday and leave the reminder the same and then drag it across and up to here so that I know I've done everything for the Monday and then I can move on to the Tuesday stuff. Good with me so far? Wonderful. I'm going to undo that. Otherwise, um, I'm going to get completely confused. So moving on. So when, when I, hang on, let me come back. Is that going to put me back? Wonderful. So as you all know, more than likely, uh, live streaming is something that is really new to me. I never wanted to do it. I wasn't interested. Um, when I was on with Danny and John, I'm just like, no, it's not happening. Not interested. You can't make me. Um, but I said if I was ever going to do YouTube, it would have to be lives because I can't edit anything if it's live. I mean, I can. I can edit it afterwards. But I turned around and said that I didn't want to um, to do pre-recorded videos because I don't know how to edit. 
I don't have the time to learn how to edit. Um, and I know full well for a 30 second video would take me about two years to edit. That's that's just who I am. So I always turned around and said that I wasn't going to do it. Right. So I started with a vlog slash YouTube live template. Right now. Um, hat tip to a nerdy notioner for showing me how to do the headings like I have these are a little bit special that looks absolutely amazing um i will get a nerdy notioner to send me the link if i can't find it and i'll put it in the description of how to get this to look like this because it is absolutely gorgeous um so yeah so i decided that i was going to do a template for something i'd never done right and that's fine we can do that in Notion because everything can be changed. So I decided that I wanted to do a vlog slash YouTube live template based on something I had no idea on. I'm putting that out there right now. So we have things like um, the purpose of the vlog. Well, I'm not calling them vlogs anymore. So that's gone out the window to start with. Um, so why I'm going live. Well, now the only reason that I'm going live is so that I can nerd out about Notion with you lot. And I think that is an absolutely fine reason to be going live. Um, so what do I need to cover and what are the key takeaways? So what I need to cover, so like any spaces that I want to use, things like that. Um, and the key takeaways, what can I teach in this one, right? Um, I know... To be fair, Lizzie, what I've done, um, Lizzie's just said those beautiful headers take me too much time. I've made it once and then I duplicate it so that I only need to make it perfect once and then I can just change the text um, because otherwise I'd spend far too, far too much time in it. So I know exactly, exactly what you're talking about with that one. Um, so, yes. So like what? what lessons um and then a bullet brain dump um and so this bit here the bullet brain dump is from <coughs> excuse me that is from jonathan stewart a uh, simplicity specialist and this section here which is expand the bullets right that is um jonathan stewart as well so a title brainstorm that is a uh, thomas frank um, and a keyword brainstorm is Thomas Frank as well. Um, which ones, Torin? Um, let me pull that up. Okay, so the these... Uh, where are we? Moving my mouse back over again. I hate working on two screens. So this is a call out purely because... Um, why can't I make it bigger? Right, so this is a call out because I like having icons and when you use a header, you can't. So this, this here is a call out um, because I like putting icons everywhere because it's my space. And if I want icons to make it pretty, then I will. Um, also, if you happen to follow uh, Marie Poulin on Twitter, um, there was um, a comment that went up um, about the fact that um if you have things that are too pretty you lose space for data um, and i'm just like i wholeheartedly disagree with that but anyway so yeah these um get me mouse back so these are code blocks this is inline math um and a nerdy notioner has a fantastic um walkthrough of how to insert the inline math then change it back into text change the background and make it inline math again so not only do you get like a big uh title but you can have the background colored as well um so if you haven't checked that out you really need to check that out um so yeah all of my headers ordinarily are call outs um because i like to break things up and I find if you just use a header, it doesn't go the entire width of the column that you're doing. 
which is fine because they're not supposed to unless you put like a background color on it um and i much prefer to have something one with an icon gotta love an emoji um and i like to have it so that it just looks a bit different and the color of the background <laughs> um yeah uh torrent you need to um hook up with a nerdy notioner um because her stuff is just like mind-blowing like literally mind-blowing um so i'm still not um i'm not like completely down with code blocks um because um i find as well that because i work on two screens so i'm working on this one which is my um my 13 inch but downstairs my main monitor is my is my 27 um so anything that i create in one i'm always worried it's not going to look okay on the other um whereas like if you're using like call out blocks and things like that they'll like auto resize um so that's just something to bear in mind if you do work on two screens also if you are going to open anything like this on your phone bearing in mind it it may not look as good as you think it's going to just my personal opinion um so yeah so then we move down a little bit um and the scripting thumbnail offers and sponsor so my scripting as i said is not scripting literally it's not scripting um because we know i'm gonna go off on one we know i am you know i can have the best script in the world and i'm gonna pay no attention to it whatsoever we know this i know this i've accepted this so my canva uh thumbnail is linked um my canva thumbnail is linked in there i also in my co in my call out have a link so this is going to take me directly to canva and is going to take me directly to the project within canva that is my uh um thumbnail that's the badger um so obviously my thumbnails have changed a bit since since i started this one because they're now completely different and the fonts are amazing and oh i'm in love with them um, then we have any content offers. So if, for example, I, uh, I've mentioned something that I'm selling on Gumroad, quick note on that, I actually made my first sale on Gumroad today. I say sale, it's a free template. Everything on my Gumroad is free, um, but it was my first one. So woohoo, go me. Um, and then if I've got a video sponsor or affiliate links. Now, video sponsors um yeah it's not a script yeah that you th anybody would think that my husband knows me it's not a script it's more what you call guidelines um which is completely true um so yeah so sponsorships and affiliates so sponsorships i have just hit um 22 subscribers on my youtube channel i'm a little bit chuffed with that i'm not even gonna lie 22 subscribers on my youtube channel I did a happy dance I'm not gonna lie I really did because that means that 22 people out there in the world are actually like wow she does something that I would sit down and watch for an hour and a half each time that just blows my mind you know 22 subscribers and I'm like yeah yeah we might actually have to have a dance party about that later on a nerdy notion here your dance party's coming babe so oh thank you guys so much loads of congrats woo um so where was i before i went off on my my dance party um oh yeah sponsorships and affiliates so to be partnered with um like specific brands you need fifty thousand subscribers so i'm a bit of a way off on that tiny bit but i do have a lot of affiliate links so if i mention any of my affiliate links or anything like that then i want to be able to put in here um who i'm like so that i know that i've mentioned it's an affiliate link so things like that so then we went so bearing in mind this now is utter tosh right none of this none of this works anymore purely because 
my live stream now is organized completely differently totally differently which is what i went through on my twitter yesterday so it says you know youtube and Streamyard. well i don't use Streamyard anymore i use ecamm so it's so out of date now it's not even funny um and then um like ghost and um my twitter link is in there my canva link is in there oh homesick said yeah direct canva link yeah absolutely um i have put where are we there we are i have put my canva link in there so that i can like brainstorm what i want to talk about and then create the the uh youtube thumbnail while everything's still fresh so while i'm working on it rather than having to go to my canva and then find the one and then do the thing and then do, no i don't do any of that i don't do any of that i just click on the link because it's right there also in where well, get me mouse back in my live stream for the one that i released yesterday on my twitter you will see it's there canva thumbnail link notion wonder because that's what i'm calling my live streams is wonder through my notion um so yeah so this this vlog thing just did not work um it it, it just didn't um it, it really didn't and and then we've got like loads 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 of stuff underneath right so it's just not working so what i want to do today with you is i've started a little bit of um things that i might want to include so i haven't created let's come back up to face cam for a minute and let me have a quick slurp a drink mm. so i have not created any pre-recorded videos right not because of like anything in particular but i'm just like i don't know what to say you know, I, I don't know what the difference is for me between going live and sitting here and ranting and going off on one about Notion um, to sitting down and recording a video about some of the same stuff. I, I don't know. I just, it's I, I can't do it. If I could go live every blooming day and talk about something different in my Notion, one, I'd never run out of things to talk about because by now you know I could talk for England um but it wouldn't phase me anymore because i really like going live you know i absolutely you know love interacting with you and like there being comments and all the rest of it i am totally in love with it but for some reason when it comes to sitting down and recording a video i can't do it i really can't and i don't know why i don't know if it's because there's no engagement I don't know if it's because I basically sat in a room talking to myself, which to be fair, I'm doing now, but at least I've got like comments coming in. I can see there's like a couple of you watching, which is amazing. Um, so I'm not like that worried, but when it comes to sitting down and recording a not live video, I mean, I tried to record one the other day, 45 minutes, and I'm like, seriously, mate, what are you doing? 45 minutes. No one's going to sit through that. Seriously, what are you doing? And then I'm like, right, well, that means that I've got to edit it, and I'm so not down for the editing. Yeah, see, isn't that weird, Lizzie? Which, that's like... Sorry, Lizzie was just saying that she can record a video... But struggling with the talking. Well, I can talk for England. It doesn't bother me. So, have you tried using a script? Not one that you actually have to stick to, but to put, like, bullet points down. So, I find, even though I know I'm not going to use my script, because let's be honest here, I never use my script, um, it might be worth having a look so that you just write the script because i find when i've when i'm actually engaged in the writing down um it helps me like cement in my head what i want to talk about and we know i'm going to derail 
my entire streams are just like one massive derail um but i found it quite useful to sit down and write the script even though i know i'm not going to use it um but just to like get like a, a playthrough and like a running order in my head that might be something to look at um well yeah i know darling i know i know no one will sit and watch a 45 minute video but here we are on two hour live streams i know he's been telling me for weeks just to just to go and 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 i'm like i can't i can't do it i can't do it i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it is there we go that's a little bit better i i don't know i, I really don't i don't know but anyway moving on from my husband going to town you say um so yeah and i'm like i don't want to edit right because i just don't hey hey girl okay so right where are we where are we so yeah yeah i can see that lizzie yeah um talking from a script sounds so unnatural yeah absolutely that's why i write mine and disregard it completely <laughs> so if you want to see why and how i have made these right so let's get rid of this go back over here and get rid of this and go to this one these these have come from a nerdy notioneer so you need to check her out because the, her stuff is like pure gold seriously she has a youtube channel you can grab her on discord but if you grab her on discord and ask her a question she's gonna give you an answer and then add stuff onto it that you didn't know you needed right she is insane in the best possible way in notion i'm just saying i'm just saying um so where are we going oh so you decided to start working have you thanks for that that's really useful thank you ever so much dear oh dear so so yeah if you need stuff if you need stuff it's definitely a nerdy notion here i'm just saying so back to the plot we have a plot well well i say we have a plot we have a we have a today effort which is as good as a plot well it's as close as a plot as we're gonna get let's be honest about this people so so we've got this one which i'm still super happy with and then we have my train wreck with my amazing headings so what we want to do is we want to attempt to create something in here that isn't a train wreck so i'm just gonna have a quick drink <laughs> So, so we, I need to remember that this is for my pre-recorded videos, not my live streams, because my live stream ones are on point, even though I haven't started using it yet. Um, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, right, hang on, right, bear with. So, a nerdy notion here, you deserve all of the credit right don't even think that you don't i'm pointing now be told your work is amazing in notion and anybody who says different should come and see auntie esme mm -hmm. and then hey gail <laughs> yes there's a plot well i say a plot there's there's like there's a word for the it's it's not going to happen we know it's not going to happen we know it's not going to happen there's a plot that there's never a plot <laughs> so right so this is what we're working on today so we are so the purpose of the video is, is going to be pretty standard that's where i can come into this and because i don't have an issue with having like 30 of these on the go at once i really don't i, I don't i don't mind it's just for me to be able to create um a 
uh, a project and to just get my idea down straight away so that one I don't lose that idea and two when I come to actually record the bloody thing if I come to to record the bloody thing then I've got some idea of what I was thinking when I wrote it basically um ah, a cunning plot yes a baldrick cunning plan absolutely um so yeah it's basically somewhere where i can literally create a project and then the purpose of the video and i could just blurb um about everything that i'm like thinking about like why i started the project so that's basically what it is ignore the fact that it's in my projects database because depending on how you look at it depends on whether it would technically be cast as a project or not because while my live stream spans an entire week this will only span a day um because as some of you know i work a really odd shift pattern so i work three days on and three days off so the plan would be um to be able to do everything for this in one day um so i might write the script and we're going to use the term script in a very general sense um but i might be able to write the script on like one day um and then sit down record it uh edit it edit <laughs> yeah right um and then we'll be able to do all of those things but i want to be able to do them in one day so if you wanted to do the same thing you could by all means put it in your content calendar it does not need to be a project absolutely doesn't need to be a project if it would work for you to have say a video day or a content day air bunnies love air bunnies um then it would make just as much sense in your space for it to be in your content calendar in fact the original one is if you look up here it says you are editing a template in the tng calendar because originally it it was in my content calendar um so it's entirely up to you where you put it you may have a, an entire database just for youtube videos go you that's amazing um and that's the great thing about notion is that wherever you want to put it is the right place because no one can tell you it's in the wrong place because it's not their bloody notion it's yours so wherever you decide to put it is the right place because it's your notion so why is that hidden all of a sudden oh i give up oh i give up oh homesick forgot to say hi to gail naughty um so yeah so what we want to do is try and mix in some stuff from the live one that's relevant because obviously a lot of the stuff for the live one isn't going to be relevant to this one um and try and get it something similar so obviously if we start from the top and if you look at my my bar at the top you will see that the icon is slightly different for my live streams than it is for my youtube videos right and that's because I am utterly, utterly, utterly in love with this icon. Um, I am utterly in love with this icon for YouTube. I think it's amazing. All of my icons, any icons that you see in my space are from Flat Icon. Um, I do have a paid subscription to Flat Icon. Um, I was lucky enough to um, get in on their half price uh, that they ran last month, month before. So that was really good but um everything i use is from flat icon everything um unless it's like one of the native like mac ones in which case it's just from my mac um, but most of the time for a lot of them it will have it will be um it will be a uh, flat icon so yeah so i absolutely in love with this one but i need a way to dis uh, to distinguish between my live streams and videos that i want to actually record to release so that's why i have this one i'm not a huge fan of it but until i find one that i like as much as the other one this is the one that we're stuck with um so uh let's come down 
So obviously, um, simplicity specialist Jonathan uh, Stewart helped me with this bit. Um, but this is really good for like just like unloading my brain. So if I have an idea, come into projects, create a new project and just dump. Not a problem at all. So then obviously moving on, we have my anything and everything database, my A&E database, which I've mentioned before. And next week I'm going to start doing videos on it. Now I've got a feeling it's going to take more than one video to do my A&E database. I could be wrong. But I don't think I am because my A&E database is a little bit large. Um, so, but this allows me to save stuff from um, using Save to Notion and to put it in my A&E database and then attach it to the project. Job done. Oh, why am I yawning? It's like literally, what time are we on? It's like 20 to 5. I should not be yawning. So then we have, again, my content offers. So if I'm going to add anything in the description, like my Gumroad link, or if I've created a, a template for it, um, anything like that, I'll pop it in there. Um, then again, we have my YouTube link. Um, but what I need to do um, for this one is I need to create a new Canva youtube thumbnail for pre-recorded videos because at the moment it's got the one that i use for my live streams and i think it would be kind of cool to have two different ones um oh where are we let me put this up absolutely gail i i want to do it so badly i really do um my a e database is is absolutely huge and you cannot look at my A&E database as a database you just can't it is too big there are too many properties there's too much stuff going on um because there I mean it's not as big as my daily because my daily I hide 147 properties you have to love the ability to be able to hide properties in Notion seriously it's amazing um but um my a and e database i cannot look at as a database i never go into it on its own it's always a filtered view it has to be because it no it's not going to work so but yeah if i can do an a and e a and e series i am all down for that absolutely um so yeah so i need to create a new youtube thumbnail for my pre-recorded videos so that there's a distinction between the two um, I don't know if I need to do that, but any excuse to fiddle in Canva, if I'm completely honest. Um, and then I have a placeholder here to add an image. Um, so, no, Torin, let me bring this up. I don't know if it was my A&E database or if it was my daily database, Torin. I've got a feeling it was my daily uh, because my daily, has I hide um a hundred and yeah 174 properties i hide um i know i know i know um so yeah no i don't think i don't think it's that one um yeah yeah i know lizzie yeah 62 um i i hide a lot of properties however because my daily journal every single database in my space feeds into my daily journal and I mean, uh, am I correct in saying every single one? Yeah, I think I am. I think there's a couple that don't feed into it, but they're few and far between. And then there are roll-ups. So yeah, I hide 174 properties. Um, uh, but that works for me. <laughs> it's not going to work for everybody, but it works for me. Um so like what i ate that day the stuff that i worked on for the notion goth what was going on at home family stuff medical stuff um anything i saved into a and e that day um yeah everything goes into my daily journal um so yeah i completely agree lizzie yeah i added a lot when i was able to hide them absolutely um, because the thing is, obviously, the more properties that you've got, so the more relations, roll ups, single selects, multi selects, the better you can filter things. So I 
I understand where people say, oh, you need to keep them to a minimum. I get that. But if I, if I want to be able to filter the shit out of something, I want to be able to filter it. So, I, I just, all of the properties. For me personally, all of the properties. Um, so, where are we? Where are we? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I don't think he was overly impressed with it, if I'm honest. Um, but, hey, he's now not using Notion anymore. So, you know, not really a lot we can say about that now. Um, yeah, my, I do have a lot of, a lot of properties and, and I'm fine with that. I know a lot of people wouldn't be, but I, I am. So where are we? Torin. Yeah. Uh, my A&E does have a lot, but I don't hide any of them, uh, because I never access the database on its own. Um, so I don't need to hide them because I don't go into the individual bits. Um, Although I might hide some. I'm not 100% sure, but we can go through that next week. Um, and the week after. And probably the week after that as well. There, there is so much in my A&E database. It is insane. In a good way. In an awesome way. It's insane. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's not my biggest database in terms of the number of rows it's got in it but it's my biggest database in terms of the amount of information it's got in it. Um, right. I'd love to hear you talk through your reasoning behind your properties because reasoning is um, the most important part to better set up for the future without moting your brain. I would rather have too many properties than too few. Um, let me, hang on, let me come back. Let me come back here. Um, yeah, I would rather have too many properties than too few. That's just me. Um, when, when I'm not sure whether I need a property or not, I'll add it in as a text field um, and see if I can almost justify having it in there. Um, and my whole rule is that if I would put something in one, so if I if I added it as a property and left it as a text field, if in one row I would add something in, then it's worth it being in there. Um, depending on the database, obviously depends on the properties. And now we can hide them. Um, it makes sense that if you are unsure about whether something should be a property, make it a property because you can always delete it later, literally. Um, so for me personally, if I have to think about whether it should be a property or not, it's a property. Because otherwise, I'm going to be second guessing whether it should be for like the next three weeks, however long, and then I'm going to put it in as a property anyway. So just put it in there in the friggin' first place, in my opinion. Um, and that's probably why my databases are so big. I've never had a problem with lag. Um, obviously, we've all had issues with Notion not working at specific times, but I've never had a problem with lag because of my, the number of properties that I've got. Why am I yawning? It's literally like 10 to five in the evening, seriously. Um, so yeah, I've never experienced lag because of the amount of properties that I've got, but how I justify it to myself is if I am asking myself if this should be a property and I think about it for more than about five seconds, then it's going to be a property because the whole reason that, that a lot of us use notion is to be able to link everywhere, to be able to filter for hashtag all the things, to be able to make it a space that works for us. So if I'm like, hmm, should this be a property? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no put it in. Absolutely put it in. Because otherwise you're going to go to bed and you're going to be laid there at like half past 11 when you should have been asleep at 10 o'clock going, I should have made that a property. So just make it a property to start with. That's just 
my line i'm pretty sure that <laughs> that is going to be different for everybody but that's how i do it if if for like if i'm thinking mm, mm, make it a property saves a lot of it saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle in my opinion right let's go back to my notion gonna have a quick vape because i can so um so yeah then i have sponsorships and affiliates obviously i'm a long way off sponsorships but i do have affiliates so that's in there already then if i wanted to use my content calendar i have a space to be able to do that so if i decided that i wanted to add you know record script edit post whatever um it works with it works with um with dogs too i found um yeah the five second rule works with dogs as well if if you stand up although to be fair dogs don't use a five second rule you know you you could not even be fully stood and they're underneath you so yeah um where are we nerdy notion here if you're using the property for any reason then it doesn't matter how many you have exactly exactly so if i'm sat there and i'm like mm, does this need to be a property can i get away with it if i have to ask myself if i can get away with it not being a property it's a property because under no circumstances in notion should you have to get away with anything no 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 but that's just me so um so yeah if you wanted to add stuff you can down here so now not when you have a two second dog absolutely so now we get into the nitty gritty of what on earth am i doing with this thing right because so i've got all of these down here that i'm pretty sure i do need them i do need them so we have oh we're glitching we there i know we glitched for a bit Oh yeah, Torin. Yeah. We we have we have three girlies. And and it's it's not even funny. It's not even funny. So you'd think they'd never been fed. Um it's a case of oh yes, but we we've not been fed and I'm like, You're lying. Nobody believes you. We know you're lying, but they're they're like, Ah, oh, I have never been fed, someone feed me usually when there's kfc on the table anyway back to the plot so no luke's right it doesn't even touch the floor uh, usually because they've got their head on their on your lap underneath the uh underneath the table um so right so this one i'm i'm confused on this one um I'm totally confused. Oh, if anyone's in chat and is a little bit unsure what's going on, Luke is my husband. So bless him for being supportive and watching all of my live streams, not to mention the fact that he's a mod on my channel. Um, so yeah, if anybody's like, if anybody hears anything and they're like, oh, they're a bit familiar. Yeah, we've been married for coming up 10 years. So we're kind of allowed, just in case you weren't sure on that one. So <sighs> to run a non live stream video so a pre-recorded video there are going to be some things that i'm going to have to do and it's trying to work out what the ruddy blime they are so let's have a quick vape now what i like to do is create like this so i'm like right what am i watching is a bit strong yeah um yeah i say he's watching my live stream um i'm pretty sure he's playing neo um which is a game i don't know i'm not a gamer i don't get it but we know this anyway. I don't get it. If it's not Worms or Minecraft, Esme not interested. Not interested. He'll sit down there and he'll be like, I, I got an achievement. I'm like, woo, that's it. 
that that's that's the extent of my involvement or when he gets like a new pet on warcraft i'll be like oh my god he's so cute and that's that's about it um so i add things in like this purely because um i like to line things up now if you are unsure of how to do this we will add some so what we're going to do is we are going to type in backslash and then c a l right which is going to give us a call out block we're then going to press enter and it's going to give us a purple call out block because who doesn't like purple um what we're going to do then is we're going to grab these three these six little dots at the side and we're going to duplicate and i obviously i'm upstairs so i'm working on a small screen ordinarily i would be on a much larger screen downstairs until i get my new office then it's going to be different so what we're going to do then is we're going to grab these six dots and we are going to drag until we see the blue line now you could do this at either end right or if you're feeling particularly kinky you can put it in the middle so once you know like how many you want jobs are good and the only thing that i will say is if you enter down in an empty one it will not give you a line underneath it will turn it into text which is a pain in the bum and then you have to command and z out of it right but what you can do then is you can go underneath and then type two now then i want to drag it underneath so that i've got a to-do list underneath um the call out block the reason that I like to use call out blocks, as I've said, is because I like to use my icons um, because yawning. This is not happening. The reason I like to use icons in my call out blocks and why I use call out blocks as headers is because no matter where I am within this template, I know which one I'm working on so for this one which is my one for next week where i'm going to be starting my a and e i know just by looking at these that this is a live stream i know this is a live stream because of the icons that it's got um this one because the icons are different obviously these are wrong but because the icons on this are different i know that this is a pre-recorded video um same as when i was working on it as a vlog i know by the icons that this is a vlog um you know me by now i don't do the work smarter not harder rubbish i work smarter and harder so for me no matter where i am in this template I know which template it is i know what i'm working on because the icons tell me icon convention people icon convention um i will stop saying that at some point but we know it's not going to happen very quickly so moving down we have my amazing twitter thread um database i am in love with this database i cannot even tell you how in love i am with this database and I knew it i haven't opened all of my flipping tabs because i'm derailing as you would expect on one of my videos i'm derailing completely and we are going to go for a quick trip because i can't remember where i would put this uh, where is it yeah no uh, where are we where do i want to, where do i want to go uh tng yeah. yeah i think i completely agree lizzie you know it no matter where where i am in that template i know the template that i'm working on um and i just find it's like super helpful that might just be me um but it's the only way that you can add like icons right the way down so it just it makes sense to me right so yesterday i did a massive tweet so let's go to my tng calendar and let's go to done 
I did a massive tweet yesterday. There we go. So my massive tweet yesterday was on, as we know, because we went through it at the beginning, was on my YouTube live stream. Now, I made that whole tweet thread in Notion. Because I can. I have this up as a template. You can grab it from Gumroad or I've tweeted it God knows how many times. Um, because I got super excited about this and I still state this is amazing. Um, I know there are things out there like Hype Fury and there's a new one that's just about to come out, which is Notion Tweet. Absolutely not a problem. They all cost money. And I understand the developers absolutely have to make money and the products that they give are like brilliant. Absolutely not a problem. And for a lot of people, they solve a lot of problems. For me, they don't. That's a personal thing. You might find real value in, um, uh, is it Twitterific? I can't remember. Um, and Hype Fury and stuff like that. I know a lot of people do. For me, it doesn't do the thing that I need it to do and the thing that I want it to do. But that's just me. Oh. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I like 95, no, 99.99% .99 of your stuff as well. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that, anything that a nerdy notion here has come out with that I wasn't like, ooh, I need that. Um, so, yeah, so... It tells me the length of characters and then there is a checkbox, right? Plain and simple. It's not terribly difficult, um, but you can filter it. If I was to look at this database on its own, it would make no sense whatsoever. Literally none. Absolutely no sense. Because it, it doesn't. It has to be viewed contextually and it has to be viewed within the page that it's going to be on. It has to be. There's no other way to do it. So I personally like to schedule my tweets, right? Uh, front and centre, I like to schedule my tweets because I often get into a flow. As you can see with this, this tweet was 16 tweets long. This thread was 16 tweets long, right? Because when you're in Notion, you can move things around, right? So if I'm there like oh wow i'm doing this and then i'm going to do that and then i'm going to do this and then i'm like actually that goes better up there you can move it on some of the uh twitter managers that i've seen you can't do that you have to delete the whole thing and then like m like paste it down further and i can't be faffed i'll be honest i can't be faffed so i create it in here I've then got a section for the app mentions and the hashtags that I use. I need to get better at this because I've mentioned Canva. I've mentioned, um, I remembered to app mention flat icon, but I didn't mention Ecamm tweets either. And I'm just like, oh my God, I fail at life. Um, so yeah, and then I've got the original tweet URL, right? So in my YouTube video, I would be at see it says Thursday's live stream because I've copied it from the previous one and we don't go live on a Thursday anymore we now go live on a Saturday so this I can basically take the whole thing out because it's not a live and it's not on Saturday but this database only works within something else um, as a standalone database you could probably look at it but it wouldn't make any sense literally would make no sense you could potentially put a sort on it um but even the sort wouldn't make sense um and the reason that the sort wouldn't make sense is because if we go to a and e for like next week i have so this is my sequence right this is what i want to say in my tweet that's going to go out on monday and then because it's me writing it straight into notion and then into twitter it sounds more like me so oh uh the 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 man the legend hey danny <laughs> nice to see you um so yeah so this is the schedule that i i want to do 
and because I've written it in here, it allows it it allows me to be much more natural in how I'm putting it down. Um, I find when you're typing it directly into Twitter or into anything like Hype Fury or even uh, what's the other one? There's another one as well. Anyway, when you're typing it in there, you don't see the flow. Um, and I want to be able to see that everything follows on one after the other and it sounds like me and it is me because I'm writing it and where better to write it than Notion, seriously. So, and then I can put on, I can put the first one. <laughs> of course you are, Danny. Absolutely. Um, and then I can put a reminder on for the first one. Um, and then I can post the first one because you cannot schedule a tweet thread in Notion. You can't schedule it. But what you can do is post the first one, then go onto it and go add tweet and schedule that. Then go back onto it, add tweet and schedule that. So that's how you can do it. And that's how I want to be able to do it. Um, call the productivity police immediately if you haven't watched danny's last video you need to go and watch it it's it's absolute genius really is so yeah so and then i can like say when i want to um have it posted now the reason that this wouldn't work um viewing it on its own is because i have three different sequences that i want to do and they're all color coded as i went through in my tweet they are all color coded for when they're coming out, when they're going to run. And then this one would then come out the week after. And then this one would be written and released in one go. So I need to be able to have three different embeds of the same database. So this one is filtered for when the sequence is one, because I know that's the one that's going to be started on Monday. And then this is filtered for sequence two. This is filtered for sequence three, which allows me to literally sit down and just type whatever I want and then work out where it's going to go, where it's going to fit in in the thread and then add like files and app mentions and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so that's why that's why I I have my Twitter embed in there. So this is basically the same with this one. Now, because the attempt is going to be to work out what I want to say, then record the video, then do everything in a day because I have a very limited time scale of when I'm going to be able to do it. I want to be able to do everything in one day. So my Twitter thread will go, my first one will go live when i have done the video and that might need to be um the first one to be scheduled and then i would need to put a reminder in to remind me to go back in and add the rest of them so that the thread worked properly in other applications you can't set the date and time that you want tweets to come out you can only set the interval now for my tweets i want to be able to post for my live streams the main one goes out on the first one goes out on the monday then we do wednesday then we do friday then on the saturday i want to post one just before i go live reminding people that i'm about to go live and wrap it on for an hour and a half with an interval you can't do that i can set it for every 48 hours from the monday but that's going to look really false because it's going to post at exactly the same time on the Wednesday and exactly the same time on the Friday. What I can't do then is set it for a different interval on the Saturday because that's only a day rather than two days. So I haven't found a way yet. None of them offer it to be able to schedule different times rather than intervals. Every single one schedules on an interval and I don't want an interval. I want to be able to say when I want things to go live. So I'm always looking um, in keeping my eyes and ear open, to, uh, ear to the ground. Oh, awesome. Hey, Danny. Um, so, yeah, so that's a massive, massive sidetrack on why I love my Twitter thread manager. That's just me. 
Um, then we have an embed for the TNG calendar. So if I decided that I wanted to add and get like mega granular, then I could. I could add things to that um, and I could do it that way. So what I've done is I've added, um, I've literally just taken a copy and paste from my vlog. Again, a nerdy notion here. Headings, got to be done. Um, I've literally just grabbed all of this and plonked, I think is the technical term. I had a plonk. Yeah, I plonked it all in here because I'm like, I might need some of it. I might not. I don't know. So there is so much and I, I don't need half of this. I can tell you now I don't need half of this. So let's go through from the top to the bottom and work out what we're happy with and what we're not happy with. Oh, dogs. Should you hear dogs? That's because there are dogs. So, right. So the purpose of this video, why I'm creating this video, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's probably pretty, uh, pretty necessary to have in there. Let's have a quick vape. Right. What do I need to cover? I'm pretty sure that needs to go in there, even though I disregard it completely and go off on one and end up live streaming for you know 40 years pretty sure that needs to be in there right key takeaways what lessons are learned through this video i'm going to leave that one in because i would like my recorded videos to have like key things that i'm showing how to do and i would like to be able to for example use things like this this bit to um like have key takeaway from this section so that i can like properly like this is the bit that you that i'm teaching you in this bit which i think would be super helpful back over to notion um so yeah so i think that not only will it keep me on track she says laughing her ass off because we know it's not going to happen but it will mean that if something's not clear or i haven't explained it properly and what I'm saying doesn't match directly with like the bit that I've said I was explaining, then people will be able to get hold of me on Twitter and go, mate, mate, seriously, that was not what you went on about. You need to redo it and you need to explain it better. In which case I'll be like, thank you for the feedback. I will get right on that. So moving on down the list now there is a bit that i need to add to this and i'm going to do that now because after i posted my twitter after i posted my tweet i added another section to this so we are going to grab the the three and then left click on it and then just duplicate it because it already is the right color because obviously everything for youtube is in red um and it already has the right icon so rather than going all the way through my icons and trying to find it again i'm just going to duplicate it and rename it so what we want to do down here is we are going to type this in italics and we are going to do what spaces Ooh, do i need open we are then going to highlight all of this no we're not no we're not we're going to enter down a line we are going to do backspace and we are then going to do a bullet list because i want it to be a bullet list underneath it we are then because i'm an idiot and completely forgot we're going to go down to one of the spaces be below it we're going to enter we are going to grab a blank space and bring that up so that the list is a line away from what's underneath it because it just helps with like the separation we are then going to grab this And for me personally, I'm going to mark it as code because that tells me the bit that I need to have in there. And if we go to the 24th of April, which is um, this one, you'll see spaces I need to have open. So I've added this bit in because naturally when I'm either going live or when I'm recording a video, there are going to be spaces that I want to have open. As you can see, there are loads open at the top of here. Absolutely loads. So I want to make sure that um, 
as I'm going through and writing my script, she says loosely, um, and working out like what I want to do. Um, we want to make sure that I've got the spaces open across the top so that I don't have to fart ass around and try and remember which space I needed to have open, basically. So we are going to rename this. And because this is bold, if you take the whole thing out, it will revert to not being bold, which does my head in. So I put my cursor after the first capital. And we are going to have, we are literally just going to call it spaces. We are then going to remove that and remove that. So that now tells me, um, oh, I know, I know. To be fair, I've been through some of them now, so I could get rid of them. Um, but I know full well if I get rid of them, I'm going to want to open something again. So I just don't worry about it. And I will say, Torren, this is just the one I'm presenting. This is not my main Chrome window. Yeah, less said about that, the better. So get rid of that one. My Mac is running really warm. So there we go. So yeah, so we've got my spaces. We've got my bullet brain dump, which is literally, again, simplicity specialist, uh, Jonathan Stewart. Um, this is where I would literally just brainstorm in a list. What do I want to say? Why do I want to say it? Um, you know, can I link to anybody else? That kind of thing. And then we have my talking points, which we all know don't work. But anyway, we're going to keep them in there because they look funky. Or at least they do when they're there but i've hidden them because i'm working on the template so then we have my a and e now i absolutely love my a and e database as we all know right so i also use safe to notion a lot use safe to notion um and what safe to notion allows me to do is to catalog everything at the moment that i'm saving it if I cannot, um, if I can't justify why I'm saving something, then I won't save it. Um, so it allows me to attach a project, a, um, a goal, uh, not a goal because we deleted my goals database last week. Um, it allows me to save it to a project, save it to an area, save it to an event, anything like that. I can do it at source when I'm saving it. Um, and that means that um, it's going to be wherever I need it to be because I've catalogued it at the point of saving it. So obviously A&E database. Then obviously we've got my content offers. Um, I personally think that my content offer should be in there because it might it might get to a point where I do say a video walkthrough of a template that I've put up on Gumroad and I don't necessarily need that to be alive. So I might like to record a video on say my surgery, my surgery checklist that I've done. Um, so I could link my content offer in there. So I think I'm going to keep that one. I think I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to show you my absolute mess of a Canva. It's not happening. You do not want to see this. All right, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I move any links to the dedicate once that's up and running. Yeah, yeah, I can go with that, Torin. Where are we? Yep. I, because because when I use save to notion it only goes to one place it only goes to one place um and because I have so many properties showing in my save to notion I can make sure that whatever I'm saving goes directly where I need it to go um but again everyone's notion is different and that is the brilliant thing about notion just because I do it this way and just because this is the way that works for me doesn't mean that everybody should do it this way because everybody's different. I have taken inspiration from so many different places 
Um, I started off with August Bradley and then moved to Marie Poulin. I've watched Danny. I've watched John Stewart. I have, oh, good Lord, uh, Kai He. Literally everybody, any, any Notion video that I can watch, I will watch. So I've taken inspiration from all over the place. And that's fine. Um, because I have grabbed what other people have said and gone right i like the way that that sounds but i don't like their implementation and that's what we have to do in notion you can look at the way that um something looks you can look at the way something feels and you can go okay i like the concept of that but i want to implement it in this way and that's the great thing about notion is that we can get inspiration from anywhere um and that's why on Reddit, there are so many people sharing their dashboards because inspiration is everywhere. You know, you may find one thing in somebody's dashboard and you're like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Um, the the one of the most recent things that I've started doing is effort, um, which is something that I've taken um, unashamedly, um, although I have messaged her about it. Oh, dogs again. Um uh about the fact that how long um how much effort mental effort and physical energy is this project task whatever going to take from me because there is absolutely no point in you putting into i have uh, projects that are in focus so the ones that i'm working on this week um then i have um I have a little checkbox for in focus and I also have a drop down for in focus because quite often I forget to uncheck the box. Um, but it is, there is absolutely no point in me having five extreme projects in one week. It's not going to work. Absolutely not going to work. So having like a couple in extreme, let me show you because this is, this is, um, uh is it that one no it's not so 49 more properties danny look away effort there we go so i i can see now like how much needs my time and attention right danny i've hidden him again um like how much attention I need to give to that thing. And it might only be an extreme for a couple of days while I'm working on it. And then it will move. Um, I might start this one, for example, and it would start in extreme because I'm going to work on it next. And then within 12 hours, it's going to move to completed because I've done it all in a day, basically. So I'm happy with all of that. So if we move down to here, right? So YouTube and StreamYard doesn't exist anymore. Um, oh, Torrin, sorry, I missed your comment. I like how I have my own organizational system, which is similar to Para, as that didn't quite work for me. Absolutely, absolutely. I started with um, August Bradley's PPV and I, like a lot of other people, watched August Bradley's videos from the beginning and built my entire system to directly mirror what August Bradley was doing. And that was a pivotal moment for me. Um, I was using a competitor, we'll put it that way, um, who specialises in a single view um, I'm not going to say who it was. Um, Bubby, do not put it in the chat because I do not want to get copyright strike. Um, and I had heard about Notion and heard about Notion and heard about Notion and I could not get my head around it. I really couldn't. And then I went back and watched August Bradley's videos. I don't know why I clicked on one of his videos. It happened to pop up and it changed everything. And you, you know, you will find like one person where you're like, oh, my God, you know, he's so speaking. She, he, they are speaking my language. Um, so but my system now looks absolutely nothing like 
uh, pillars, pipelines and bolts. Absolutely not. Um, but it was instrumental in getting me into Notion and it was instrumental in getting me to where I am with my Notion now. So, but I started off with strict PPV and then I'm like, that bit doesn't work, that bit doesn't work. I don't like that. That could be better for me personally. And that's the brilliant thing about Notion. You take the bits that you want and don't use the bits that you don't. Jobs are good. So, right, YouTube and StreamYard. So, schedule live stream. So, that still needs to be a thing. So, we're going to grab it and move it up here. So, I am going to say that this one, I'm going to do Command and B. I don't know if it's going to work or not. And we're going to, oh, English. Uh, we're going to say schedule, right? So, we're going to schedule the live stream on Ecamm. Now, before I can do that, Oh, no, I don't want to to toggle. I want a to-do. Uh, before I can do that, I need to create thumbnail in Canva. Because when you schedule a live stream in, um, in Ecamm, there is the option to add the thumbnail straight away. So it makes sense to do the thumbnail before you schedule it in Ecamm. Um, so I'm going to schedule live stream on Ecamm. I am then going to, oh, I am. I am then going to, um, my Mac is really hot. That's probably not good. Um, I am then going to upload, uh, thumbnail into Ecamm. Now, the reason that I'm writing down every tiny little thing is because this is all still really new to me so what i have tried to do is especially in the other one is list everything i can possibly think of even down to have a wee before you start literally everything is like checkable because it's still really new and i don't want to forget something um like filling up filling up my juice bottle, you know, making sure that that's ready to go. So people who are on point with their YouTube will not need to go this granular. But for me, because it's still really new and I'm still setting things up and all the rest of it, I want to put down every tiny little thing that I might possibly need. And that's fine. Because what I will do at some point is I will go back into this template and delete a load of stuff that I don't need anymore because I'm used to doing it. So we're going to upload the thumbnail into Ecamm. We're going to schedule, but actually we don't want that there. So we want to do that. And this is the reason that I like to write them out first, even if I were going to add them to my TNG calendar. Um, so that they inherit the right properties and all the rest of it. I would still write them out like this first because it allows you to get them in the right order as you're going through them in your head. So we're going to upload. We are then going to write the description um, and then schedule. But again, no, absolute boulder dash. It's not a live stream. Get rid of all of that because we're not doing a live stream. Right, so. So this can be Canva. And again, if you see, it's not bold anymore. So we're going to create the thumbnail in Canva. We are then going to create today scene. Now, my today scene is this. So every time I go live, I create a new one of these. These, um, And for my pre-recorded videos, I would do one as well. So that just reminds me that I need to create a new scene for today. Uh, create any other scenes that I'm going to need. Cool. Right. Ecamm. Then we're going to add a to do. Now, because I will 
I go live on Ecamm, but you can also record on Ecamm. So I'm going to record inside Ecamm. So we are going to make sure that all scenes are working and don't have leftovers on them. Now, what I mean by that is if I go back to my Twitter one, you will see that there is a comment still there because I didn't take it off before I changed the scene. Now, if I'm going to record a video, you can leave them on there. I mean, there's no reason that you'd want to. So I need to put a reminder to myself to take them off, which is fine. Uh, so make sure the scenes are working and I don't have any leftovers on them. Um, we're going to make this bold. What else do we need to do in Ecamm? Um, make sure that sound levels are good. For some reason, I'm having a massive problem with my sound levels and I don't know why. My music is far too loud and my talking is far too low. Um, so I need to get that sorted out. Uh, make sure that the sound levels are good. And then we want to come over here. We are going to make that bold. And we are going to call this Stream Deck. Now, I have Stream Deck Mobile because I do, uh, rather than a physical Stream Deck, although that might change rather quickly. But, um, yes, I know I said I never wanted one, but they're amazing. Um, so I want to make sure that all scenes are mapped into Stream Deck and that they all work like i said currently because this is all really new i am even things that at some point will become bloody obvious at the moment they're not so that's what i want to do um so ecamm make sure all scenes are working i don't have leftovers on them make sure the sound levels are good make sure the scenes are mapped into stream deck and that they all work um what else do we need to do in stream deck i think that's it in stream deck and i think ecamm is done right make sure all the scenes are working right so make sure that the scenes are uh, uh what what am i trying to say um are uh, ah have the right camera because I have two cameras. I have my um, MacBook camera, which is down there, and then I have my iPhone, which I use to stream. Ecamm will pick up both of them, so I need to make sure that I pick the right one so that when I swap scenes, I don't end up going down here because that's not a good look and that's not as good a camera as this one is. Um, so yeah i would encourage everybody if you're going to make something like this literally just put stuff down because it's not going to be perfect it's when you are creating a template for the first time especially for something that you've not done you're going to miss things you are going to forget things you are going to put things in and then change the program that you're using. For example, I had uh, StreamYard still on this one. Well, I don't use StreamYard anymore. I use Ecamm. So um, Ecamm, by the way, is Mac only. So sorry, um, uh, but it's also really expensive. Um, but it's so worth it. I love Ecamm. But anyway, I'm not going to go off on one about Ecamm because I did that last week. Um, but that was Homesick's fault because he asked me a question. Um, so what I would, what personally I would do is literally just write a list. Just write a list, whether that's a checkable list or a bullet point list, however you want to do it, um, of all the things that you know you're going to have to do, you think you might want to do, um any twiddly bits so for me it's like making sure that my stream yard is working um making sure on ecamm that all of my uh all of my scenes are working so that i can do things like this 
and it looks a bit amazing i actually put a scarf on today because i thought oh i'll mix it up a bit rather than just wearing a long sleeve black tee i'll put a scarf on and then i was checking my scenes and i had my scarf on and you couldn't read that and i'm like yeah we're getting rid of that we're getting rid of the scarf um so rough draft review edit second draft repeat repeat yeah absolutely oh i missed another comment tora and i'm so sorry um only took me until relatively recently to get my head around notion yeah absolutely absolutely um i previously had everything in um an other program and that worked really well for about two years um even though it was expensive um and could never imagine using anything else and then i literally watched one of august bradley's videos and built my entire notion system in a weekend uh well maybe about four days because it was just like holy shit um because it i don't know there is so much that you can do with notion like so much that you can do with notion um it gets really overwhelming um when you're like i don't know where to start um so but having said that my notion system now is not based on ppv it was built originally on ppv but it's not anymore um because it didn't work for me but it got me into notion and that's that's the important bit let's get rid of that one i've missed so many comments um rough draft review edit second draft repeat final review after period of time repeat absolutely absolutely iterate and improve absolutely um so where are we i still use a couple see i'm conflicted as well i'm really conflicted as well um i i can't get away from my google calendar i really can't um i don't i mean obviously i use other apps for other things because you know i wouldn't make a phone call with notion there are things that notion just can't do i mean you can because you can put somebody's number into a number field and anyway um so there are there are some things like stream deck right notion would not ever come out with a stream deck so there are always um applications that you have to use because it's their forte um same as ecamm notion would never be a streaming software it just wouldn't be so there are always different things that you have to use um the problem that i find is that um <laughs> unfortunately i'm one of these people where if notion goes down i'm screwed literally i'm screwed um which historically has been a little bit of an issue however we all got the announcement yesterday or the day before that they were going to do some improvement work um which i think in the uk happened about one o'clock this morning um and i haven't noticed like an outage or anything dogs barking again um so yeah i can't i can't get away from google calendar i really can't because i love my google calendar um and it's like i share my google calendar as well because i work such an odd shift pattern i share my google calendar with like my mum and stuff she wouldn't have a clue if i was to share a notion database with her she wouldn't have a clue not a clue because i've tried believe me i've tried love you mum um oh yeah uni essays don't even get me started i've, I've just i finished my second masters last year last year year before um and i'm waiting to start my third because 
why not um but yeah oh danny's changed his channel we we are now on productive creators okay hey danny second channel um yeah i i still love a google calendar and the thing is is that with google calendar in the event you can put a link anyway so if you wanted to link it to your notion you can that's just me so anyway so yeah if you are going to start doing something like this i've realized that i've been going for an hour and 40 minutes and we haven't even got anywhere close so yeah sorry um so yeah if you're going to do something like this list it all out first because then you can move stuff um no we definitely don't count last year um i think this year um uh, one of the memes that was going round was um 2021 um no one's going to say that this is their year we are going to walk in gently no one say a word um and we're just going to pretend it didn't happen um he was trying to be sneaky an early notion here absolutely um so yeah if um <laughs> getting ready for the stream later are you i thought you were streaming tomorrow that's why I'm streaming now, because I didn't want to interfere with you. I thought you were streaming tomorrow, Danny. I do apologise. I thought you were going live tomorrow. Have I read that wrong? I am so sorry. I do apologise. It took me, like, ages to work out, like, when I could stream so that I wasn't, like, streaming over anybody, which is why I went live at 4 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. But anyway... So, yeah, if you're going to do something like this, list it all out first. It can be as messy as you want it to be because you're going to move stuff around. And if you can get the headings done um, and, like, group, like, certain things together, it's sort of like Danny's video with the whole batching thing. But for me, I want to go from writing the script to recording the video to editing the video to releasing it to tweeting about it or at least starting a tweet thread about it um or at least scheduling one all in the same day so that it's done because obviously i still have a job so i need to be able to fit it all in um when um when i can so if i spend an entire day on one video but I start at like eight o'clock in the morning and then I go right the way through and everything for that video is done within that day. Um, oh, OK, you're going live at seven. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Danny, I didn't realise. <laughs> Let me know if we need to like move things around. But having said that, a nerdy notion here likes my Saturday afternoon. So, I mean, as long as I don't go into seven o'clock which you know no promises we should be fine <laughs> um so yeah you can move things around you know just list it out if you know that you're going to batch things together or like certain things need to be done within a certain program then you could do it that way you could even do between um you could have this set you could make it so that between eight and nine you're doing this between nine and ten you're doing that between ten and eleven you're going to do this between 11 and 1, you're going to do the editing, whatever that needs doing. And you can break it up like that. So that for any time that you are going to have like a video day, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. But how you choose to organise that and the order that you choose to run things in is entirely up to you. Um, so... Yeah, I'll, all right, Danny, I'm going to stick to four o'clock on a Saturday because I really like four o'clock on a Saturday. And I'm thinking as well, in the winter, I won't have to worry too much about my lighting because it'll start going dark. It'll start going dark. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, Danny's been vetoed by an early notion here. But also, it's not fair like because, I mean, historically... Danny's always done videos about Notion so I don't want people to have to choose because I know that they'll go with Danny so I want to make sure that I can get some view time as well um but I didn't expect Danny to be here which is super awesome and I'm feeling a little bit like oh daddy's here um but anyway back to the plot however you choose to organize it whatever makes the most sense to you 
if you're like super organized and you time block then by all means have between eight and nine i'm going to do this on the video between nine and ten i'm going to do this on the video between 10 and 12 i'm going to do um i'm going to do the editing between 12 and 1 i'm going to stop and have lunch eat something people this is really important um and then i'm going to come back to it at one o'clock and i'm going to do i'm going to upload it to youtube and i'm going to schedule when i want it to be released and then at say three o'clock i'm going to do my tweets and i'm going to schedule those for when i want those to come out remember if you're going to schedule tweets you want the tweet to come out after the video does because you don't want to schedule a tweet and have a whole thing and it's going to be amazing but the video isn't out yet word to the wise um so yeah so you want to make sure that like everything that the sequence that you want to do things in works for you and if that means you just have a bloody great long list that you work through in a day do it that way you know you don't have to have like individual like little sections don't get me wrong i love my headings because it allows me to say like i finished one section so that's absolutely fine but if you literally just want a massive long to-do list in the order that you know you've got to do them in then do it that way round. it's your notion as danny's just said you do you however it works for you then that's what you've got to do now i think i've been streaming for an hour and 46 minutes and i haven't done half the stuff that i wanted to do with you today but this is normal and we're used to that and we have to accept that in one of my streams um but i did go through um i'm sorry um luke darling you'll, you'll have to watch the replay ah. um i did go through my youtube setup um not fully uh but uh, Torin has asked if I'm going to release it as a template and I don't see why not so I'll go and release it as a template in a minute and I'm trying to witch my head but my headphones are in the way because of course they would be so um, yeah totally a nerdy notion here yeah Luke's missed everything literally everything so I because a nerdy notion here is here I think I think we're going to have to aren't we a nerdy notion here knows what's coming. I, I think we're probably going to have to. I think we must. Um, if you've turned up your levels, if you've turned up your volume because I was really quiet, you might want to turn it down. do like a good dance party it's got to be done it's got to be done 
especially with all the nastiness and everything that's going on in the world. If you can't have a random live YouTube dance party, seriously, what's the point? So anyway, we have not done very much of this, although I did walk you through a few of my spaces. I really need to get better at this. This needs to accurately represent what I'm going to do. Either that or I need to get rid of this completely um, and make it sort of like an old Woolworths pick and mix where you put your hand in and you had no idea what was going to come out next. Because um, it can go it can go one of one of two ways. Um, you know, either I get rid of this and we're just like, Esme's having a wonder through her notion. Tune in to find out what she's ranting about this week. Or I need to make this and stick to it. And then hopefully my live streams won't be two hours long. Um, but I don't really see that happening, if I'm completely honest. I don't know if anybody else does, but... I have, I have far too much fun doing live streams using Danny's fun. I have far too much fun doing live streams and just nerding out about Notion for like two hours with everybody. It's it's just far too much fun. It really is. Um, so I'm not I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah, hanging out with Esme, a nerdy Notion here. Yeah, hanging out with Esme. I'm. But then see, you get all these things like, oh, you need to you need to do the SEO on YouTube and all the rest of it. You need to have Notion live build in your title and everything. And I don't think of my 22 followers who I love and appreciate. You are amazing. My subscribers on YouTube love you so much. Um, I think if it was just called hanging out with Esme, a lot of people would be like, who the bloody hell is that? What am I doing? You know? Um, and even if it was hanging out with the notion goth, it would just be a case of, well, who does she think she is? You know, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we all know I don't stick to a script. You know, that's 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 not even a thing. I write my script out. Right. Let me show you. My script is really quite good. I'm really quite proud of it. Right. I haven't done one for this one. Did I do one for this one? I don't even know. Um. See, A and E, right? I've written it out, but when I'm live, I can't see it. So, I'm not 100% sure there's a lot of point in writing it, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, hanging out with Esme with some Notion. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Notion live build with the Notion goth doing something random that she hasn't worked out yet because her planning's crap. Although, to be fair, I know what I'm doing next week because I'm doing my A&E database, but that's because I'm like super excited about my A&E database. Um, the fans have spoken, so be quiet, the Notion goth. He knows that he can talk to me like this because he's downstairs and I'm upstairs. I'm cooking dinner tonight, so, you know, be warned. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not terribly worried about SEO right now because, eh, but I know it's something that I should, like, have in my mind. But I just like hanging out with everybody and getting nerdy in Notion. Getting nerdy in Notion with the Notion goth. Yeah, that could work. I don't know. Tweet me. At mention me on Twitter because, you know, you're going to come up with far better ideas than I am. Um, as I'm sitting here being put on the spot, uh, a notion, a notion to hang out with Esme. That's good, Torin. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, at mention me on Twitter because I'm never going to remember all of these and I need to go through and add all my timestamps tomorrow and I'll probably forget a load. Um, or you leave my cooking alone. Although, what are you on for tea? Oh, no, you're on bacon sandwiches for tea. So, yeah, there's probably not a lot of cooking that I need to do, to be fair. Um, so, right, I've waffled long enough. Oh, my good Lord. It's ten to six. Five to six. Apologies. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. I think I need to just stick to, like, one page per time rather than trying to show you, like, where things have come from and where they're going. So... A nerdy notion here pioneers through all notions that's amazing hang out in notion with esme yeah yeah that sounds really cool i'm gonna write these down hang on hang on um where am i going where where in my notion am i putting this 
Hang on, let me. Uh, Notion. Uh, TNG. Um, see, I called it wandering through my Notion. That's what it says on my thumbnail. So, good stream today. Need to boss off now. Thanks, homesick. I'm sorry I went on longer than I do normally. But considering this is like what now, number four? That it's not boding well for like number 12, is it really? You know? Sorry. Um, right, so what do I need to write down? I need to write down, hang out in Notion with Esme. And I've written that down now. So there's probably loads of different ones that people have suggested that um, that I haven't I haven't written down. Uh, Luke, can you do me a favour? Can you take some screenshots of chat for me so that I've got all of these written down, please? Um, just in case I forget to check the chat. Um, so where are we? Yeah, hang out in Notion with Esme. I've got that one down, uh, a notion to hang out with Esme. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Bubby, if you could um, do some screenshots for me or like write some stuff down, um, that would be super awesome. So I think now at like four minutes to, to six, we probably need to finish that. Um, so as we did last week, I am going to put on my credit music, which I am in love with. But it's going to be very loud. So turn your volume back down again. Um, but I'm absolutely in love with this piece of music. Um, I will, if I can remember, I'll link it down below. There, there is on YouTube, but it's from Epidemic Sounds. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I am going to sit here until it finishes uh, because I absolutely love it. And to be fair, Luke's getting a bit like tired of hearing it now because I absolutely love it. Um, it is like three minutes long, so if you don't want to stay, that's absolutely fine. However, I am going to be in chat. Um, remember, anything you need, just grab me on Twitter. Not a problem at all. I am here, unless I'm at work, in which case it might take me a couple of hours to like reply. But I am here. So with that said, turn your sound down now, and I will see you next Saturday. Raise your fist in the air. 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 Okay. Raise your fist in the air. Raise your fist in the air. <laughs>